Hello people, welcome you all to Mr. Boo. My name is Daniel, I am MVP in Connected System Developer and I work as Technical Leader at Stack Result. I'm here to present to you our last lesson about developing a page flow solution using Workflow Foundation and ASP.NET. Uh, in this lesson, we will finish our implementation we will test our complete solution, we will run our complete workflow and then we will have a quick, a quick review about the steps to develop a solution like that and I will leave a link to, to make the download to download the solution so let's start our demo and let's finish the our page flow solution so let's go back to our demo and let's finish our page flow solution so uh, we the last thing we did was testing the redirect to the payment type I will run again just to remember if I run here I click in create order, then it creates my workflow and redirects to order created.aspx. If I click here, now I invoke the method in the event in my workflow and the workflow calls my um, my redirect method and pass a parameter that is the payment type. So let's close and let's implement the payment type page. Open. Now I'll go to the code I must inherit from base page and let's go to our workflow again and let's remember the the behavior at, of the workflow I have here my event driven activity a handle external event that receives a parameter and I have my event handler here that is called when my handle external event is invoked and it receives a param I will put a breakpoint here I will save and let's go back to our design and I have a if else activity and the if else activity will check if is a credit card set to the state if is a credit card set to the state credit card selected otherwise set to bank draft created okay 